greet you from uh, the church today and over my uh, right shoulder are some of the preparations uh, being made for uh, the church fair that are t that's uh, taking place tomorrow. And if you're in the area, uh, trust that you'll uh, be here at uh, the church to enjoy our annual uh, country fair uh, that uh, uh, makes such a difference uh, to uh, so many with missions and it's just a great time uh, to uh, gather uh, as a church and in the community. Uh, bring a friend or two along uh, as well, as I'm sure they will enjoy it um, uh, very much. I'm pleased to share this devotional with you now from Luke chapter 11. It's uh, about the Lord's Prayer, which uh, we are uh, talking about uh, in church on Sunday mornings. But reading uh, now from uh, Luke 11, we usually think of uh, the Lord's Prayer being, being in, Luke, in Matthew 6, which it is, but it's also found in Luke 11. And it reads like this. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John, meaning John the Baptist, taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us and lead us not into temptation. I guess as you'll recognize uh, this uh, very much like the Lord's Prayer that uh, we pray each Sunday here at the church, although it's a little bit more condensed in some places. Uh, instead of saying, uh, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, it's just thy kingdom come, although some manuscripts of Luke include uh, thy will be done. And there are other places, too, which we expect uh, would round out the, the prayer a little bit more like uh, the, the one that we pray regularly uh, at the church. But a point I'd like to make with you today is when you think of your prayer life, is your prayer life directed and guided through some of these priorities that are found here in the Lord's Prayer? I find this to be rather challenging. Uh, the things that uh, we usually come uh, to the Lord in prayer uh, on are maybe the needs that we have or the needs that our family members have and our friends have. And indeed, these are important. And I don't wish to underestimate that at all. But I would like to raise some of the priorities that uh, Jesus does talk about in the, the Lord's Prayer that can be a help for us. Your kingdom come praying for God's eternal and blessed kingdom to come on earth. Uh, that's the place where Jesus reigns. That's the place uh, where uh, true needs are met. How frequent is that a part of our prayers? Or forgive us our sins, uh, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. How about the importance of praying for forgiveness uh, for others and recognizing the need for us to be uh, forgiven as well and then lead us not into temptation uh, that is uh, something that's a part of Jesus's prayer I hope that's uh, also a part of our prayers too that uh, we would seek to be uh, more God honoring and that uh, as we pray that uh, he would uh, uh, be ever more present in our lives I hope that you'll be joining us uh, on Sundays to think uh, further about uh, this great prayer that uh, Christians have prayed for centuries and has been passed down and still is passed down through uh, the church worldwide. It's truly worth probing so that we might understand how we might be able to pray better and also to pray like our dear Savior Jesus prayed. I hope you'll be joining us on Sundays and I hope you'll be thinking too about how your prayer life can realign more and more so that it fits with Jesus' pattern here in Luke 11. Will you join me now with a word of prayer? Father in heaven, uh, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for uh, teaching uh, us as your disciples to pray. You know that our hearts are uh, turned in many uh, directions, and we bring prayer requests to you that, I know, that we know you care about. But we pray today that uh, you would help us uh, with uh, your priorities in prayer. Help us to pray for your kingdom coming, for your will to be done, for forgiveness to be extended by us uh, to others, and that you would keep us from the tempter and from temptation. Help us with these things, Lord, and uh, bless us too tomorrow as a church as we uh, enjoy uh, the country fair. We pray today in Christ's name. Amen. And may God's blessing be with you.